the Veridi, the speed glider. We are running on a 3 cell 2200 milliamp battery, but it feels so heavy. Uh, hopefully, the wind will give us a little bit help during the launch. But after that, well, I don't know. It's up to the pilot. Man, I'm so good building things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't have any good authority on the ailerons, but that can be the wind. Uh... I think this is the size of the ailerons combined with a slow speed. Yeah. They should be bigger. Bigger or bigger motors, so it's a... I'm going to try a slow flyby. Not a good idea, but to see the stall speed. <laughs> 10 meters above the ground. Close to stall speed, I, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's a decent speed on it, and I think with less wind, it will do even better. So uh, let's land. <laughs> Holy crap. there. <laughs> it's not just one piece falling off. Yeah, we have uh, we have a bit um, crosswind now. Uh, that is actually pretty cool because I used screws to mount the hinges on the ailerons, but I didn't use it on the elevator and the side rudder. And these are the parts that went off because the hinges are just glued to the surface and that is not good enough. On uh, Beridi's uh, version number two, he has implemented uh, slots for the hinges, which will make them more safe. But uh, this is an easy fix. So, um, and I think because of the carbon rods, it didn't break more. No, if it fell down here without the carbon rod, the wings would have broken. Yeah, other than that, I think it flies great and the upgrades that uh, Beridi.com did will be a nice feature to uh, the ones purchasing these models in the future. So, but she flies uh, pretty great. Uh, I will do some fixes on uh, the rudder because on the ailerons you can see that there is a bit of a gap here and I think that the wind will sort of uh, escape there yeah. and if I can... Easy fix is just a glue, some glue some tape on top. Yeah. And I think this model would benefit from a, a little bit smaller prop and a higher KV motor. Yeah. 